everyone, today in this video we are going to review a movie directed by Bong Joon-ho, Parasite. Through Mark's theory of social classes in economic perspective, and explore how some scene from the character that came from two different economic background symbolize economic antagonism that exists in the society. Parasite is a 2019 South Korean dark comedy film. Parasite was considered by many critics to be the best film of 2019 as well as one of the best film of the 21st century, and it is the 46th highest rate film of all time on Metacritic. Among its award and nominations, Parasite win over 197 in 300 and 30 nominations. Parasite is the first South Korean film to receive academic award recognition and one of three films to win both the Palme d'Or and the Academic Award for Best Picture. This film grossed over 258 million worldwide in box office on a production budget of about 15 million dollars. At Film Center, there are the Kims and the Park families. But as suggested, Bongs aligned the viewer with the Kim's perspective. The Kim family lives on a semi-basement and struggle to keep food on the table. Kim family take an odd job for cash like folding pizza boxes, and they rely on unprotected Wi-Fi networks and street cleaning pesticide to keep insect free. Kiwu, the son, is give a scholar stone or sase by a friend and given a recommendation for a tutoring job with a wealthy family. Ki Woo and his sister Ki Jung forge credentials for the job and begins to long con that sees each member of the Kim family in flirting for the upper class Park family one by one. Ki Jung began working for the Park under the guise of an art therapy teacher. Kitae, the father, began working as the park driver after the Kim have removed their previous driver from his position and similarly, Jung Seo, the mother, replaced Mong Gwang, the housekeeper who have served the home longer than the parks even living there. Jung Seo is framed as the saving the family by hiding a dangerous illness. The real description of it is carried out by the Kims and it worked flawlessly. Social Classes in Parasite In developing the film, Boon as the director as well as the author says that the film's title Parasite has two meanings. Because the story is about the poor family infiltrating and creeping into the rich house. It seems very obvious that Parasite refers to the poor family. And I think that's why the marketing team was a little hesitant. But If you look at it the other way, you can say that rich family, they are also parasites in terms of labor. They can't even wash dishes, they can't drive themselves, so they leech off the poor family's labor. So both are parasites. In the political and economic philosophies of Karl Marx, the history of social classes was a history of class conflict. In Wikipedia, class conflict, class struggle, or class welfare is the political tension and economic antagonism that exists in society consequent to socio-economic competition among the social classes or between rich and poor. In the film Parasite, the Kim family perspective represents the poor and the park represents the rich. Parasite represents capital society that has made everyone the spirit to accumulate more wealth, to survive and prosper even if it means sacrificing your morality or willfully ignoring the humanity of others to attain it. Thus, the lower classes have no choice but to engage in a parasitic relationship with the more prosperous, but opportunistic As the Kims may seem, the parks to are parasites feeding off the less fortunate to supply themselves with an outsourced lifestyle. Some example of the big contrast that we can see in the film about the wealthy family and the poor family is about the education 
house interior, and how they value the food. The wealthy family has a very luxury modern house with comfortable rooms and the scenery around the house is very beautiful and peaceful. On the contrary, the poor family live, live in a very dirty basement house with a very disgusting surrounding with a many bugs in the house and also the view of their house is full of bad habits such as drunken people and people releasing their, themselves everywhere. Inside their house, they put everything in a mess. For example, in their kitchen there are underwears, there is no private room for the four members of the house while in the wealthy family, all the people there have their private room, even the housemaid. The location of the purse makes them hard to find signal. However, the rich family gets the signal very, very easily. From the education contrast, the wealthy family is well-educated people that makes the father has a very well-successful business. He chooses private tutors for his children and he affords to pay them. On the other hand, the children of the poor family is not well-educated, but they are very smart to cheat by getting imitation certificate graduation of a university. And they are also able to trick and get the trust from the wealthy family. The wealthy family regards food as an enjoyable thing for eating, but the poor family considers food as thing to survive. If they want to eat, they have to work very hard to get it. But for the rich family, it is very very easy to get the food whatever and whenever they want to eat it. Well, let's move to another section. In this section, I will discuss about the symbolism of this film. From our group point of view, the film has two symbols that represent what the film means. For the first, the viewing stone. It's introduced early in the film. Pong said that rock is assigned this very unique position. It's a kind of obsession for the young son. Throughout the film, he is trying to imitate Min, his rich friend who initiated him into this world. Min disappears in this film after giving him the rock. But the rock is a sort of the remnant of his character. So, from Bong's statement, we know that the feeling stone is representing Kiwo's aspiration for wealth, just like his friend Min. After Kiwo received the stone, he starts taking bold action to pursue his aspiration for wealth and status. The second is body odors and scents. It has powerful meaning. Bong said that. Body smells work as a sharp tool to show the glass cap, with functions as the seed for all the tragedy that happens. Bong further explains, talking about one's body odor is taboo, even among close friends, because doing so is viewed as very aggressive and rude. By talking about different smells, the film puts the class issue under the microscope. Through smells, the film's tension and suspense mode which eventually makes a multi-layered foundation for the upcoming tragedy. In Parasite, this smell symbolizes anger, distrust, discomfort, and a dark sense of foreboding. So, that's it. That's all from us and thank you so much.